What is up YouTube, MogulYT here and today I'm bringing you guys another NBA 2K16 rebuilding challenge. So this is going to be another idea from CSB, so I gotta give him credits for that. You guys should definitely check him out. But this is going to be the 2040 challenge, so as you can see we are in the year 2040. So that means that there's no remaining players from the NBA still here. Um. Some of them are even our co are in our coaching staff, but um, before we get into it, gotta show you guys my roster. We are led by Greg Gibson, Gibson um, Sheldon Dean, and Daryl Hutchinson. Um, Daryl Hutchinson has actually been a beast, a huge beast. Um, he won the MVP six years in a row, and they haven't really ha won any no notable awards but I, I gotta show you guys um some people that we did have Yolf Norberg we drafted him a while back um he won all those championships with us I don't know why or how he left I just simulated through all of it um he won five straight defensive players of the year with or four actually with us and then he won one with the Hornets <clears throat> and then this dude he was like a gem um Kevin Irvin, 99 rated. He, like, left our team two years ago. Um, never won MVP, surprisingly, even though he is 99 rated. But we're going to try to win the championship. But um, first season one, I'm just going to simulate to around here, December, late December, to, make a, to see if I can make a trade for any picks. So in late December, we are third, but that is not really important. We're going to be looking for either the Jazz or the Bucks first round pick. Um, let's see if we can get those. That's how I've been getting some great picks. Um, so first up, the... Oh my goodness. I'll take this all day. Okay. This is a little bit suspicious, but that and maybe we could still get the Jazz, the Jazz's pick. And after this, I actually forgot to show you guys something, and I really wanted to show you. But, um, the Jazz, they don't want, they don't want us. Um, but, here, I just want to show you. We won, like, one, two, three, four, five, six straight championships with the same MVP every time. Which is pretty crazy, not gonna lie. But, our players are aging, and we have to pick up the pace we're 20 and 11 we did go 74 and 8 one season so i'm really expecting to um i don't know do a lot better so at the end of season number one paul george jr um wins mvp this dude wins rookie of the year um nobody from our team here um in the all nba teams surprisingly this is the first year that nobody's made it um, unless it, like, glitched out. Oh, yeah, there he is. Daryl Hutchinson always manages to make it, along with Sheldon Dean. Two beasts of the East, if I do say so myself. So, we're gonna simulate through these playoffs, not expecting to win this first season. But, you gotta remember, we do have that pick that could be very valuable. Actually, yeah, I'm not sure who we got it from, but, I mean, I probably sound like a huge idiot, but, I don't know, whatever. We'll figure it out, we're just gonna simulate the round, be risky here. Oh, oh my goodness, what a beast team, oh my goodness, no, there's no way we're gonna win a championship the first season, that would be crazy. Um, the Heat take the first, how is the seventh seed? And the fifth seed, how are they facing off in the con conference finals? Damn, I can't talk. And how is the seventh seed in the finals? I mean, we were probably going to get swept anyways. But this dude, holy crap, I get so salty every time I see his name. Because I don't know why he left our team. Um, let's see if anyone from our team retired. Nope. Um, but let's see what pick we get. Hmm. Hopefully we get a nice pick. Not sure who we will get. What we will get. I'm not sure what trade we p what pick we traded for. So sadly, the Bucks did pick up the pace, and we only have the 15th pick, which isn't really worth going into the draft for. 
So I'm just gonna simulate that, sign all my 69 rated players. Great. Um, I'm not signing any of these guys. Ulf Norberg, ooh. Tempting, tempting. Matt Columbus, sure, why not? Um, but yeah, I'm gonna skip through these free agent signings and I'll tell you if we sign anyone in free agency. So, as you can see, we do not have any money to sign anyone in free agency, which is kind of a bummer. So, we're just gonna have to roll until the next season. Um, I'm obviously gonna go to training camps, but I'll, um, keep you guys updated and... Well, that didn't make any sense, but I'll show you how next season starts. So at the beginning of season two, our team is looking pretty much the same. Obviously, the the classic upgrades, but I really need to upgrade my center position. So I might trade this Westis guy for a better center, as um he is serving as our backup power forward. Or maybe even one of these guys, as they are both small forwards. But that is very unlikely, But because they can play shooting guard, and that's very important. But I'll, I'll show you if we do make any trades. The trade we will be making is basically Gabe Westis for Austin Love, as it is only a three-season series, and we need a good starting center. So... This should benefit us immediately, help our rotation out, which it definitely does. Now everyone, every single starter is above 80 rated. So once again, I'm going to simulate to like the end of December, see if we can get any good um, picks, not fail like last time. And I'll show you guys what we end up doing. So here we see that the magic are last and... The Trailblazers are last in the Western Conference, um, so we're going to see if we can um, trade for any of their picks. So Trailblazers first, are we in 2042? Yeah, we're in 2042. I'm um, not going to give up Greg Gibson, he is our star player, um, but let's see if we can get anything for the Magic's pick, hopefully, nope. Um, let's see who the next um, teams are hopefully they're not too far off Celtics okay Celtics aren't that risky but if I can't get it I'll probably go for the Timberwolves um, so let's see nope um, Timberwolves let's see if we can get anything for the Timberwolves pick oops um, but hmm no that's not gonna work actually I'll think about it I'll let you guys know if I make the trade even though it might hurt us for this season, I have decided to trade Austin Love, our newly acquired center, for the Timber for the Timberwolves, a um, first round pick, um, because it might hurt us this season, but next season it will definitely help us um, win a championship. So this is how the rotation is looking now. Sean Keefe, how much? Stuart Keefe is our starting center with 73 rated. Not very good, but um, now we do have a better backup point guard. So you could look at it with, at, um, I don't know how to say it, like it, from either point of view, but I don't know. It will be a good trade in the long run, but yeah, it looks like we're going on a bit of a winning streak, so it must have not been a bad trade. But I'll let you guys know how the season ends. So at the end of season two, our old player Kevin Irvin, who is 98 rated, um, does win MVP for the first time in his career. Nobody from our team here. Um, uh, you guys can look for yourselves in the NBA teams if you really want to. But. Um, yeah, I'm just going to simulate until the playoffs and see how that turns out. So, with the first series, we are the first seed with a 55-27 and 27 record. We're going up against the, D the Detroit Pistons. I'm just going to simulate the round because I'm pretty confident that we will beat them, which we do. And in the second round, we are playing the fifth seed Pacers. We actually do have a pretty good record for a fifth seed, not gonna lie, 50 and 32. But I have a good feeling we could take them, which we do. Um, 
now we are playing Washington. It came down to the wire in the standings, but I think we could take them. It's kind of, okay, I mean, complicated, I wanted to say. Um, let's see if we can prevail with this victory. Oh, please. Okay, we do win. So we are going to a game seven. Or no, not game seven, because they were up 3-1. So we have to win this and the next game. Um, so it looks, it's, it was looking good at least. Ooh, it's looking tight. Oh man, no. So we could not clutch it out there. I doubt we would have beaten the Pelicans with their 98 rated player. I don't know how this dude won MVP. But nobody from our team is retiring. And let's see, ooh, my Marshall Ireland. But let's see if we could get a good pick from the um, Timberwolves, I do believe. So, as you guys can see, we do have the 6th pick in the um, next NBA draft. I don't even know what year it is. But, um, let's see if we can actually trade up. I might be able to do it if I can. I'll tell you guys what I trade up to, but I won't show you the strategy because I did show you in a previous video. So, with my strategy, I have been able to trade up to the second pick in this draft. Um, even though we were the first seed in the East, which is pretty good, the Magic wanted one of my best players for the first pick. So, I stuck with the second pick without getting, without giving up anything too big. We actually got some higher rated players, but they were older, so they had less um, trade value. So, I understand where the other teams were coming from let's see what our team needs are and what we can get with this second pick so um based on our team he's gonna recover um in two to four months so i'm not that worried um we do need a shooting guard um and a center so let's see if there are any good shooting guards or centers here Oh god, so the first one is over here. Um, if they're all B minus, hmm. So this guy can play shooting guard, so I'm gonna select him with our second pick. Let's see what rating he actually is, because I am interested to know um, what he actually is. I think that's a 77 that I saw there. So he was actually a good pickup with that pick. Um, great decision by me i would say but we're just gonna, gonna simulate to the end of the draft i'm not gonna bore you guys with the rest of this so at the beginning of free agency we have managed to resign greg gibson to a five-year 181 million dollar contract i don't know how currency works 40 years or 30 years in the future but the contracts do seem a lot bigger um i don't think we have money to sign anyone else so we're just gonna skip ahead to training camps but you guys will only only see the regular season so as we start the next season we're not gonna stop in december to trade for any picks as this is gonna be the final season um so i won't stop unless it's really necessary because we're doing really bad so at the end of season number three the final season kevin irvin wins mvp again nobody from our team here sadly um here you guys can see for yourselves if you are interested no players except for the all rookie first team with lewis floyd who we did pick up with our second pick but um yeah we're playing the wizards in the first round we have the three seed they have the sixth seed kind of nervous actually because we started off with a bang this season but we like went on a few losing streaks and i don't know we weren't very consistent after the first 10 games and by the look of this i mean the start wasn't looking very fresh but oh my goodness not again no so this episode or of my 2k series i wouldn't necessarily call a fail as the wizards who we did lose to actually won the championship somehow i wouldn't necessarily call it a fail because we made it to like the conference finals and the years before um the years before i did this 
I actually recorded the challenge. I won like six straight championships, so I can't complain about that. But we d unfortunately did not um, win a championship. But that's going to be the end of the video, guys. I hope you did enjoy. If you did, please like and subscribe if you haven't already. But that's been it for me. Um, this has been your boy, Mogul IT. Er